Um, just so you know, this female was transported there deceased and she is not. They are in the chapel and she is on a cot. That's the call from an EMS worker after a funeral home employee called 911. Oh my God. Woman mistakenly pronounced dead was found alive in body bag. Report says, an Iowa care facility is facing fines totaling $10,000 after mistakenly pronouncing a 66-year-old resident dead and having her transported to a funeral where home. she woke up gasping for air. A new report from the Iowa Department of Inspections and Appeals released on February 1st, 2020 tells the series of events that led up to the woman being mistakenly pronounced dead. The unidentified resident who had been at the Glen Oaks Alzheimer's Special Care Center since December 2021 was moved into hospice care at the facility on December 28, 2022 because of senile degeneration of the brain. While in hospice care, comfort measures were taken. Over the course of several days, staff members recorded occurrences of diminished lung sounds and minor seizures. On January 3, 2023, the woman was pronounced dead at 6 a.m. after an employee identified as Staff C said that she did not feel a pulse and found the resident was not breathing at the time. A staff member notified a licensed practical nurse. The woman's family was alerted and a local funeral home was called. A funeral director arrived shortly after 7.30 a.m. and with the assistance of another nurse identified as LPND, the resident was placed in a body bag which was zipped shut. The funeral director left the facility shortly afterward. At 8.26 a.m., employees at Ankeny Funeral Home and Crematory unzipped the bag. They observed the resident's chest moving and she gasped for air. The report state the funeral home then called 911 and the care facility the ems responded they were able to record a pulse and breathing but there was no eye movement or verbal response that same day the resident was returned to the care facility she passed away early in the morning of january 5th with her family at her side the report said damn we have been in close communication with the family of the resident and we just completed an investigation by the Department of Inspections and Appeals regarding the matter. Lisa Eastman, the facility's executive director, told CBS News. We care deeply for our residents and remain fully committed to supporting their end-of-life care. All employees undergo regular training so they can best support end-of-life care and the death of and our residents. The facility faces two state violations from the DIA, which could result in a $10,000 fine. My God. Imagine... Wow. She woke up in a body bag. Then they get her out, take her back to the facility, and within two days, she's really gone. Wow. Rest in peace and condolences to the family. I'll see you in the comments, beautiful people.